Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor, Ethico. Handling multiple compliance cases can often feel like navigating a complex labyrinth. Ethico introduces simplicity and intelligence into this chaos with our custom workflow automation. By automatically routing cases based on your unique criteria, we turn the maze into a clear path forward. Envision a compliance process that's not just effective, but also intuitive and adaptable to your needs. It's time to redefine efficiency in your workplace. Embark on this journey of transformation at ethico.com slash CPN. Book a demo and explore the white paper by Tom Fox, 2023, the year in compliance, to discover a world of seamless compliance management. The Daily Compliance News for February 14, 2024. Yes, happy Valentine's Day, the cutoff in Hong Kong edition. And we begin with that story from the Financial Times, which reports that the U.S. law firm Latham and Watkins is cutting off automatic access to its international databases for its Hong Kong-based lawyers, a sign of how much Beijing's closer control of the territory is forcing global firms to rethink the way they operate. Latham is the world's second highest grossing law firm, but now it doesn't have access to uh, international databases. It'll be hard to practice law that way. If you're still in Hong Kong, you need to seriously think about getting out. Next up, the first of two stories from Bloomberg. It reports that Hewlett Packard, or HP, is seeking as much as $4 billion from the former boss of autonomy, Mike Lynch, following a London judge's finding that they fraudulently, uh, the autonomy senior management, fraudulently boosted the value of its company before its sale. Now, of course, HP did full due diligence. Half the firm did not want to bring autonomy on, but apparently get defrauded, get to collect money. No buyer beware. Our second story from Bloomberg comes to us about the Vital trading trial. And it turns out that thousands of dollars were paid in bribe payments, were paid in cash to a Mexican official in a Houston parking lot. The revelation is the latest uh, regarding the trial of former Vital trader Javier Aguiar to lift the lid on bribery in the commodity trading industry. Companies like Vital have for years tried to shake off the popular image. The deals were won with brown envelopes full of cash. But guess what? They were, they are, they have been, and they continue to be. So uh, more revelations from uh, the Vital case. And our final story comes to us from The Conversation, a first-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, which uh, is subtitled Academic Rigor, Journalistic Flair. And in it reports that New Zealand has sunk from number two to number three in the TICPI. And there's much gnashing of teeth in New Zealand as to how this could have occurred. Sweden is number one, Finland number two, and New Zealand number three. Gee, imagine what Donald Trump would think if uh, we sunk from two to three. Uh, He is proud that uh, the U.S. is as corrupt as it is. Not so in New Zealand. Sorry, guys. Happy Valentine's. In the month of February, the Compliance Podcast Network is sponsored by Ethico. Are you struggling to close cases? Well, Ethico is here for you. Take advantage of their innovative approach to empathetic Issue intake, streamline case management, and enterprise-wide disclosures. Learn more about how you can crowdsource risk management at scale at ethico.com backslash CPN. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.